during during this fucking quarantine period, Jake, it's important that everyone stays really strict on their diet. And there's there's no reason to to binge eat, binge drink, or or anything like that. And if we can just keep going really well with this sort of get it. Woo! You know, by the time this quarantine's oh, over, we'll be better because of it. Jimmy, how's it going, mate? Good, bro. How are you going? Yeah, pretty good. Well Poor shitless, room. but yeah, pretty, <laughs> yeah, pretty bored, man, but just trying to do as much as we can and get out and see how we're going. You, so, uh, um, how, many, how many trees have you murdered today? Today, oh, only about three. There was actually a fern <laughs> yeah, on the right. my video. It was, a, it was a fern. It was a burnt bracken fern. That's why it <laughs> fell over so easy. And then I was walking back. I was so, walking back down the trail. So I was up on a game trail. So I was walking back down the trail, and um, and I heard something coming up the trail. And then it was like a family of four. So I'm just like this, this sweaty blokes walking down the trail, and I have like ash all over my body. I'm just I'm just dirty as from this friggin' bracken fern wrestling this fern to the ground. And I'm walking past, and I'm like, "Oh, hey, how's it going, guys?" And they're just looking at me like scared, like stay away from my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon um do you reckon that's where um Thai people just got discovered how to um kick the fuck out of banana trees? They just got like got quarantined and then ended up probably. just going out and fucking bashing banana trees. I reckon probably during one of their dictatorships where they weren't allowed to leave the house. But um I reckon that's a bit of trickery. <laughs> I don't reckon that, I don't reckon they hurt that much. I reckon they're a bit soft, but um so but anyway, but int- introduce this. We'll stop all the shit talking. So for everyone who's watching, all the fans, uh, this is going to be our, our lockdown episode of the Third Hill Podcast. So uh, I guess we're going to call it episode 1.5. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about everything lockdown, UFC, and the state of the UFC at the moment. And uh, hopefully we can motivate you guys and give you some ideas for home workouts as well. What do you think of that, Jimmy? Man, uh, I'm down for that. Um, yeah, let's get let's get stuck into it. Yeah, sweet. All right, so so what have you been up to during the lockdown? What's been going on? Uh, I've been doing a fuckload of running. Um, as everyone knows, I, I fucked my knee in my last prep, and I didn't really think I was going to be able to run again. So I just got out. I got out at the start of the week, and I did a 2 k and it was like the fucking hardest thing I've ever done in my life. It was disgusting. The worst K-pace I've ever done in my life. And then um, yesterday, I was able to get out and do 6Ks at a still a shit pace, but still... Still got out and did six days. days yeah, yeah. That's a long way. So I, I'm yeah, no so. good at long distance. I'm no good at long distance running. Like any, anything Neither that's anything that's prolonged, like whether it's boxing, you know that that sort of tapping boxing style of, you know, that accumulative style of boxing. I can't do that. I, everything explosive. So I could run, I could run ten k's if I was doing like, you know, ten second sprint and then five seconds off, ten second sprint. Yeah. I do that all day. When it comes to just running. I don't know if it's a bit of boredom or if it's just you know my, what? my I, yeah, muscle fiber. It's boring. It's fucking it is, boring. I can't. And and what's worse is running on a bloody treadmill. Staring oh, at a wall. At least at least if you run if you run five oh. Ks from your house, you gotta run five Ks back, otherwise you're not getting home. Yeah. On a treadmill. I got, out, um, stop the point. I got out um I got out I did three Ks, no problem. It was fucking nice and sunny, and then I turned around to come home. And it just started fucking pissing rain. I had to run fucking three k's home, and it was just like I was just drenched. Yeah, I, like and I was that. just like, "Fuck that!" That counts as a bench. That counts as a bench solo shower. Yeah, <laughs> once a month. Benny wouldn't shower one, after that. Do that once a month, and then that's it. But um, pretty much. I, I love that. Uh, what have you been up to, bro? No, oh, dad duties at home. Yeah. Um, been getting out for runs. I was sort of a bit lost to what to do. I don't have a bag hanging up at the house. I got you know. Minimal sort of weights and equipment, so I've been going for runs uh, out in the bushes that everyone could could see. Um, you know, trying to make do with big tree stumps that I could find and things like that. But uh, me and the missus, we just set up a, a little home gym in the garage, so we're doing nice. like um, I've oh, got a couple of barbells, dumbbells, just some free weights. We've got a little aerobic step, so I was doing these aerobic steps. Like I used to see, you know, I used to watch them before, like morning cartoons that have like those aerobic shows on. I was doing that sort of stuff in the misses. 80s dance, disco I'm music. Eight. Bro, I'll tell you, we need to get some of that at Resilience because I'm fucked today. <laughs> my legs are fucking sore. My ass cheeks are gone. Um, <laughs> it's hard, man. It's hard workout. I'm telling you. Bro, yeah, fuck. 
that that sort of shit like will kill you. Like it's like Pilates or fucking dance aerobic or fuck whatever. That will kill you. You will I, be I dead the any, next day. Any type of workout you can do, and this is good for people who are who are stuck at home making excuses. Any sort of workout you can do, you, you can you can wreck yourself with. So if you if you say to someone do a hundred push ups, you know they might. If you tell me to do a hundred push ups, I'll be dead by the end of a hundred push ups. Just the way I'll do them, you know, I'll try and smash them out as fast as I can. Um, so you can take any workout, whether it's like some aerobics, you know, whatever it is, you can have one piece of, of, of gym equipment and you can make do with that. And someone who makes a good point of that's Joe Rogan. He says, you know, he says within with half an hour workout, doesn't matter what kind of workout it is, he could he could kill you in in half an hour with a workout. And I think it just Man. it's just it's, it's just about your motivation, you know. Um, even um. Even outside of lockdown and shit, when people go to the gym and they and they do like three hour workouts, I'm just like, how the fuck can you be alive after an hour? When I go to the gym, I will wreck, I will fucking run myself into the ground within an hour and and do my workout within an hour, forty five minutes. I think an hour. I don't need workout. three hours. Yeah. Fucking huge. You know why? You know. You know why it takes an hour because they're they're having like five minute breaks between sets, which defeats the purpose. I mean, the whole point is. Let's say we're talking about like, this. Me, yeah, I'm just talking to our producer. He's just sort of managing what we're doing. So, um, but yeah, um, people just yes yeah, on their phones and having long breaks. Let's talk about isolated weight training. You you want to try and damage your muscle fibers so they repair and get bigger. If you're having long breaks and you're letting them, you know, you're getting too much of a break. That's not going to happen. You need to be your your break should be however long it takes you to do the set. So if you're doing a set of bicep curls in 15, 20 seconds, then that's your break. And then you're straight back into the next set. You, and you should be getting that lactic acid burn. P- people are trying to avoid that, that pain. But the pain is what's going to help you progress. That's why these people go to the gym, sit around there for, oh, I'll go to the gym for two hours and do a two-hour session. But you look at their progress over five years and they don't really make any gains because they're not well, doing They're doing a 45-minute workout in two hours. That's what they're doing. Exactly, yeah. You should just be able what, to smash it the, in. And I don't want to be hanging around a sweaty gym for too long. Oh. I want to get in, get out as fast as I can. So this, um, yeah, fuck that. It's like anyway, people take, um, take a morning shit. I mean, people take a morning shit and they're sitting there for an hour. Dude, I'm in and out in a couple of minutes. I do. Bro, ah. I get in there, I get, I get nice and comfy. I sit on my phone, fucking check, get check what's going on in the world of Instagram and shit. Nah, it's my morning me. ritual. Nah, not me. <laughs> All right, all right, so let's, let's talk about we need a bow. Yeah, yeah. What's going on with the um the UFC at the moment? You, you're sort of in the loop, so tell us. Um, so we're still trying to get matched for for Perth. So um, we were talking to Mick what two days ago, a day ago, and they're still trying to be optimistic about about Perth. So I'm 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 keeping ready. Um, we gave them two names. I'm not going to say on here who who we yeah, who we hey. asked for. But two huge fights that we've asked for, so we'll hopefully, hopefully get one of them. Um, but yeah, it, it sounds like it, from from where I'm coming from, it, it sounds like their their all systems go, and they're going to try and get the shows done that they've got planned. Well, I think, even I think that far have, out. I think, so I think they at least have to have 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 them planned because if if everything goes well and we get over this lockdown, they need to be ready to put the shows on. You know, if, if they yeah. if they if they're of the mindset that these these cards aren't going to happen. And then the lockdown ends, they're not ready. Then you know, so I think they're just being optimistic and keeping, you know, keeping themselves ready just in case we get past this little, uh, this little stage, you know, of, you know, of our yeah. lockdown. And even if they can't do it at the, so even if they planned out Perth and they couldn't do Perth, if as long as the travel restrictions aren't too harsh, even if they can't come here, they could. Fly us over to Apex and do 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 the show on a- a- Apex, um, their little arena thing. You know, they've got it in Vegas. Like, there's going to be. I'm just getting itchy. I just need to fight wherever it is. I just right. need to fight, man. If I can, I can lock I'm in the gonna... club just shut down because I'd be heading down there today. I'm telling you, I mean, I'm telling you, I've, I I feel like going outside and getting into a street fight. Bro, you, you're angry. The messages I'm getting from you scare me. <laughs> Tay Matthews is angry. I wanted to be like. Start like one of those Kimbo Slice street fight sort of the street <laughs> fighting rings. Nah, serious. I was like, and Bendigo, we'll get some t- we'll get some roughheads out there. We could do it. Fuck Bendigo. Nah, there's 
And that'll nah, keep that'll it. just keep your spot fit. <laughs> just just lay through like six fucking six just random one fucking up, yeah. fights. Random. One up. That's yeah, your we can cardio. Do that. That's your cardio. We're so. gonna organise that. Yeah, I reckon. But um, I'm right. so, taking a nomination now. Yeah, if anyone wants to um send location, bloody let's have a sparring <laughs> session. <laughs> Don't bring your gloves. It's not one of those type of sparring gloves. sessions. Um, bring, so what's bring, going on? Bring face uh, masks. Yeah, I, yeah. If, if you beat me, I'm giving you Corona. It's a, so I'll win in the long run. <laughs> but um, oh, what's going on with Khabib and uh, Ferguson? Um, so. The word on the street is that Habib cannot get out of Russia and they need to do the fight in America. So I've heard, and this is from Ariel Hawani, that they offered the fight to Gaethje to fight Tony Ferguson because Khabib can't make it over. And very fucking sad. This, is, it, is it just like... Do you, be, I don't know do you believe in cursed fights? I, I do now. I reckon this is a cursed era because I don't remember, you know, back 10, 10 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, I, know, I don't re- recall these big fights ever getting called off as often. Like, how many times have these big fights um, been called off or a new opponent had to come in? It's just ridiculous. I've got a theory on this. Before drug testing came into the world of MMA, people would get injured, but they were able to um, mask the pain if you know what I mean. And now they cannot, so they cannot fight injured. Possibly. I don't know. That's my theory. Anyway, um, nah, it's, mate, I'm fucking shattered if this if this doesn't go ahead. Like, And you know what? Gage is not a good, good fight for Tony. I think Tony's still got his number. It's going to be more yeah, of a... Yeah, but... It, well, I remember... I remember Ferguson fighting uh, Lando. You know Lando? I was about to say that, Lando Venata. I was about to bring yeah, that. Yeah, that, that scrappy fight, that Ferguson didn't look the best in that fight. Lando actually gave it to him a bit. And I think Gaethje's probably, you know, probably a, a tad of a higher caliber, but a very similar sort of style where he was just, yeah. just going to scrap and make it a messy fight. And Ferguson likes that. And you saw when Pettis made it messy, he bloody, he put it on, he put it on Ferguson. Ferguson's been dropped more and won more. Like, I think there's like um, a percentage of the times he's been dropped and the the wins he's got, and it's like he's been dropped in like half his fucking fights and won them. Yeah, yeah, he's resilient, but you know, one day, one day he just he's gonna get knocked down. He won't be able to get up. You can only do that so many times. Yeah, you can punch but, that, no, that so many like, times. Exactly, that chin can only um, hold up. But fuck, that's that's an exciting fight, and you'd be super stoked if that fight ever got announced elsewhere. But missing out on Habib is not going to be fucking worth that. Like, no. that is the fight that everyone Habib's wants to see. My favorite at the moment. I just, he, yeah, I'd rather Ferguson had pulled out. If it, if Ferguson had pulled out and someone else had to come in, I'd still be as interested in the fight because I, I barely barely watch. I, I stay up to date and I look at results and I I know what's going on. You know, in the UFC world, but in terms of the actual events, I really, really watch the fight events because I want to be, you know, on the when a weekend comes and we've done, you know, fifteen odd sessions throughout the week, you know, we're hanging out with all the other fighters, so everything, everything is just fight orientated. On the weekend, I want to do something else. You know, I want to ride bikes, yeah, I want to go fishing, go hunting, whatever it is. Probably healthy. Sorry, sorry, Probably not hunting. To be like that. Not, not hunting. I go, I go bird watching. Not hunting. <laughs> Go look at the scene. Yeah, I just go bird watching through, through, just... through a lens. Through, go watching. Yeah, yeah I, only, I only watch them. I never never do anything. But um, yeah, so when it comes to fight events, I hardly ever watch them. So when these big events come up that I'm excited for, it's very rare that I'll go hang out with mates and have a barbie and we have, make a big day of it and we watch the event. And that's what this one was going to well, it was going to be before the lockdown, but I was still very excited to watch it. And now it's just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's can't believe right, but... that. But like, yeah, what can you do? You just gotta sort of roll with it, and hopefully they somehow like obviously they're gonna match it. Well, especially if Tony wins against whoever he fights, they'll they'll match it again straight after quarantine. But fuck, like, how many times can you match something before you just go, ah, this ain't gonna work? 
Yeah, I know. Well, what worries me is, let's say, like we said, Gaith used a you know dangerous fight for anyone, but you know, especially for Ferguson. Will Will Habib and Ferguson be as big if, let's say, Gaith you got the win, or will that fight even happen? Well, they wouldn't fight. They wouldn't fight. Yeah, exactly. It'd be Gaethje versus Habib. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then I don't know. That's what worries me. I'd rather them just just leave, just hold off, and just save that fight for later. That's me being selfish. That would probably that's, be, that's like. mate. It'd probably because no fight's going to be bigger than Tony Tony Ferguson and um and uh, fucking Khabib. So they may as well. They're going to make more money right now. Well, I mean, but then how many fights can they miss? How many fights can they pull from the? Well, honestly, I, don't, I think, I think they're going to be. Even though this is a massive fight, I think they're going to be out of pocket because there's no gate, right? But not just that. How many pubs around the world aren't going to be paying, you know, for the pay per view? Yeah. Because you can't have big congregations. You know, you've got, you know, maybe one one in ten fans might order a pay per view, and all their mates will go to their house to watch it. So the, even the pay per views are going to be Legal. pretty thin. This That's time. illegal, Jake like, Matthews. Social distancing, that's illegal. <laughs> you can't go to your mate's yeah. house to watch the fight. Oh, yeah, exactly. Well, there you go. There you go. So, I just, I just think the pay per views are going to be stretched pretty thin for this one as well. And then, and obviously, no games. So, you're, no, there's, there's no sports. There's, there is, like, you cannot watch live sports anywhere. And this is the only live sport you can watch live. And it's Khabib Ferguson, the most anticipated fight in the last fucking three years. Do you reckon I wouldn't sell that many pay per views? I think it, I think it will do well, but like I said, you've got thousands and thousands of pubs, tens of thousands of pubs around the world that won't be won't be pulling it out, and they and they pay a lot of money. They pay more money than that's a commercial. Yeah, you know, people don't that's realize pubs have to pay big money. Yeah, pubs, it's not it's not I'll pay fifty bucks. That's not how it works. So that's a lot of money that they're not pay, getting um, for that. But also, you, you pay know, for all, per square meter of your venue. I think. Is, yeah, well, yeah. So there you go. Um, but also with all the, all the the live streaming. The, the pirating now as well. I think you know, there's a lot of people that don't that don't pay for the pay per views. Um, there will be people that get pay per views. I just think, yeah, I just think they're going to be close to out of pocket or breaking even, pretty much. Um, you reckon? Fuck. Was it because they're already losing what three, four million on the gate, and then you know, <clears throat> so that's a lot of money to the UFC. It's probably not a lot of money, but for us, it's a lot of money. Yeah. So. For us, <laughs> But um, anyway, so but, all right, let's let's go to a good note. So, I mean, social media's blown up with a lot of uh, fitness motivation and things like that. For everyone who's at home, you know, a lot of fighters and whatnot, uh, yeah, other people, celebrities have been putting up home workouts trying to motivate people. So I thought we could talk about some home workout ideas that we've been doing ourselves. I know you said you've been pretty much running. You got a bag in the shed. I see you hitting that. Um, what other sort of yeah, you know, something that you're even if you're not doing it yourself, any ideas that you can think of for for people to do home workouts, mate? As you said, as you were talking about before, you, they you don't need anything fancy. You can do body weight exercises, squats, push ups, fucking sit ups, something. Um, Grab a can of baked yeah. beans in each hand and friggin' do some dumbbell curls or shadow boxing. Mate, something. Anything. It sounds go, stupid, go. but anything. Go pull garden dog and fucking sweep him and bash him. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That was awesome. I was showing my missus because she loves it. She loves bulldogs. Yeah. Oh, she, she, she wants a bulldog now. So, but um, <laughs> I was even I was I was thinking about getting my um. So anyway, so what I've been doing, yeah. So so I've got like I said, I've got I don't have much equipment. I've got an aerobic block. I've got some Olympic plates. Got a barbell. I've got one set of dumbbells. Um, so what I did yesterday, I just set up a circuit did like three rounds of the circuit and I did three different types of circuits. So I did like a leg circuit, pretty much like squats, lunges, step overs on the block. Um, and then, and like you said, a lot of body weight, a lot of people find it boring and it's a bit more monotonous than, than other workouts. It's not as fun, but just push ups, sit ups, squats, lunges, um, you know, Russian twist, planking, all that sort of body weight stuff. It's, it's better than nothing. Because if people get you know, you, you know, you say it's boring, but you know what's boring? Sitting on the fucking couch, finding an excuse not to train. I yeah. find that way more boring than getting out there and fucking doing some push-ups. I'll, I'll be honest. I went and bought a so 
a couple of days, I went and bought a PS4 because I was like, look, I don't play video games hardly at all. So I went and bought a PS4 and I was sitting it for maybe half an hour and, I, and I'm bored of that. And I just want to go out and just do a workout. Like I said, you know, run on a treadmill's boring. I went out to the to the bush. I said, I jump on a treadmill for five minutes. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. I went out to the out to the bush up, you know, sort of local spot in the mountain. I just ran along the game trails and the, the dirt bike trails, and I reckon I ran for over an hour. Just the, yeah. it's twisting and turning, and there's trees you got to jump over and things. It just makes it a bit more fun. So you know, if you can try. Do you, and, um... and, do you think you have ADHD, Jake Matthews? Probably. Possibly something like that. <laughs> I, reckon, I, I, I reckon I do. It, it's not... I don't reckon it's that. I I hate little fiddly things. I can't, if you tell me to like sit there and do like... I remember one time we're putting a bull bar on my four-wheel drive and I'm sitting there and I'm trying to get in this little gap with the spanner. I'm trying to do this bolt up and I'm literally turning it like a couple of degrees each time I'm twisting it. And then I drop the spanner and then I'm trying to put it on or use my fingers and I can't do it. And end up start punching the bottom of my bull bar. And my old man's <laughs> just like, hey, just settle down. What are you doing? I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do little fiddly stuff. I can't, I can't, I hate tinkering with things, you know? Yeah. Like if I'm going to hold something, I'm going to hold something, going to hold something, you know? Excuse the hands there, but yeah. Um, but uh, I just, if I want to, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it properly. I don't want to jump on a treadmill and, do a little half ass workout, you know. So, but um, yeah, I was about to pull my swag down today, my big double swag, and uh, use it as a ground and pound dummy. So, I might put up Man. a video of that, yeah, and punch the shit out of Why my not? swag. So, I might put up a video of that later. Maybe, uh, maybe Kings can uh, give me a sponsorship after that. <laughs> King, King Swags, that's it, you know, yeah. But, um, you any got other... one of those big double ones or just uh. No, nah, I got the big, the big daddy deluxe. Big daddy deluxe, all big daddy, big daddy deluxe. Yeah, yeah. that's. Uh, <laughs> but any other, yeah, any other last sort of um, tips for everyone? Anything um, else? I mean, you got your bag stretch. in the garage. Yes, yeah, I got, I got my bag. I got my bag. I've got, I've got me, me, um, me weights, dumbbells, barbells, fucking everything. But um. You know, I, I was doing all these weights and, and, and using the bag and shit. And then by yesterday, I was so fucking stiff. I couldn't believe it. So I went out to the, I didn't do anything yesterday except for go out to the park. And I stretched for an hour, hour and a half straight. And I feel fucking that good today compared to yesterday. So make sure you keep your stretching up. and, and I, yeah. saw you, I saw your little split challenge. Yeah, I fucking absolutely flogged your missus. I'll put, up, I'll put up my comparison on, uh, on Instagram today. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, nah, it's not. Yeah. I'll do like you think I'm standing up tall, and that'll be a stretch for me. I'm, I'm about as flexible as a cricket bat. It's bad, but um, yeah. But I think that's uh, also you're saying you um you got sore from that little workout you did. I think it's because it's something different, which is good for yeah. the body. It's good to shock the body. Like we're forced. I mean, with with the current situation, we're forced to do to do different sort of workouts and work with what we've got. So that's going to make us do something we haven't done before. Like I said yesterday, I did like an aerobics workout. It didn't feel that hard. I mean, I was, you know, I was puffing and I was sweating a lot, but it didn't feel as hard as when we go sparring. But we will do seven rounds of sparring. Next day, I'm not sore at all. I did some aerobic block steps and some squats and lunges and whatnot, like probably like what an old lady would do at a at a fitness first. And today, I'm I'm knackered, and it's because I probably yeah. have never done that sort of workout before. And it's a good shock to your body, and that's the way you're gonna sort of progress. So I think. You know, if people, if people can good. look at this time, yeah, people can get complacent staying at home and make excuses, but I think it's a good time to sort of, you know, just explore with your, your workouts and, and change things up a bit. And hopefully that carries on to after the lockdown and people realize, you know, if you go to the gym every day doing bicep curls every day, you're not doing yourself any, any favors and you're not going to get the gains that you want. Yeah. I always think too, like, it's so important, especially like now, you need to boost your immune system. There's no, ex- everyone says that they don't eat health. Like the reason they don't cook and eat healthy and shit is because they don't have time. Well, now, now you have time. You have fucking so much time. You've got too much time now. You should be fucking. <laughs> but yet, they, uh, I, yeah. know, I think it's super, super important to um, be eating healthy at, at a time like this. But yeah, people are still complaining that Maccas and all that are shut now and all the kebab places are yeah. shut. It's like, well, you're home. You know, the, the shopping centers are still full of fruit and veg. 
you know, like I said, there's, there's right. no excuse. And, you know, and in terms of, uh, in terms of boosting your immune system, people are going out and buying supplements. I mean, all the supplements are sold out in all the shops. It's like, you want, don't worry about supplements. You want to boost your immune system, get outside, go roll around in the grass. Cold. It's called a supplement. Dog. It's not cold. It's not, they're supplements. They supplement what you can't get from your diet. So you should be getting everything you need from your diet. And then the, the little things that you can't get, you should supplement in with supplements. It's not, it's not a diet thing. But people don't understand. You get these vitamins that are jam packed full of whatever it is, but your body can only absorb a certain amount. So if you're already getting enough from your food, that vitamin that you're paying for and you're taking, you're just going to shoot it out the other end and get nothing out of it. So but, exactly. You know, just it's, one thing. Got, one thing you just said before. Um, go 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 out. Go outside. Get some fucking sun. Play fetch with your dog. Get some slobber on your hands. You know that that stuff's good for you. That's going to boost your immune system better than better than anything. I went out, when I was out in the bush the other day, you know what I did? I'm running along the track. I stopped. I took my shoes off. And I started running barefoot for a couple hundred meters. I think that's really good for you. Yeah, well, it, it bloody hurt because there's rocks everywhere. So I've got to go, I only got about 200 meters, but the next time I'll get 250 meters. And I'll toughen those feet up. Apparently, it's Honestly, really good it, for you. It felt, it felt, um, it felt like sort of natural to do. It just, it felt good. I felt like I was just running better. You know, because I got pretty bad ankles I roll my ankles a lot and even with runners on you know my ankles will roll I took my shoes off I didn't roll my ankles once you know because yeah nice. I mean as humans we're supposed we're not supposed to be wearing things on our feet when you look at it, like sort of you know our ancestors and everything we're probably not you know it's not a natural thing for us to wrap our feet in, in whatever we have on so um and that's a good that's another thing is all barefoot workouts I know there's actual scientific yeah, for workouts good. evidence I mean it, it, it's supposed to correct the way you're supposed to walk, run, stand, jump, because you know you have this aid which is a shoe. So everyone's working out in shoes. So your body comes dependent on that. Your body becomes dependent on that for balance, for you know, for whatever else. For all your stabilizing muscles, so they become weak and they become reliant on these shoes. So I think it's good to get your shoes off, which is something people can do when they're you know, at home working now. I've been um, doing a lot of um, barefoot. I am all my warm ups is all barefoot. I do. Um, I get on like a big, big piece of rubber that's like really rickety, and I, I'll stand on that one foot, barefoot, shut my eyes, and just try and lean forward and touch the ground with a kettlebell, and then stand back up. It's so fucking hard. It is. And then yeah. like after that session, all as you said, all my stabilizing muscles in my fucking in my in my um my calves and and, and ankles are just fucking so sore. Yeah, I've been doing a fair bit of that stuff. Single leg uh deadlifts with the this podiatrist I've been seeing. Um. So that, that stuff, that, that proprioception and balance and stuff, I think is really important. And that's, that's sort of low impact stuff you can do, you know, so you can do your home workouts and then you can do that sort of stuff as well on top. You can do it while you're watching TV. Just get up, stand There's on one, one foot. There's one Yeah, stand up on one foot, balance for a couple of minutes each, each leg. You know, at least you're doing something to stay active. So, yeah, there shouldn't yeah. be any excuses, to be honest. But, um, all right, we'll start. It's about time, so we'll start wrapping that up. Um, so... I'll just, just talk about quickly, we, we had a couple of guests that were going to come onto the podcast. We got shut down because of this virus. So did you want to talk about the guests that you had organized to come in, just so people know what's coming up? Uh, we got, we got in the next next guest up as soon as, as soon as we go back into it. We could get him on Skype, but I think it's better having him I think in, the in, the, in the studio. Um, but we got we got Sam, Sam Greco coming on, the dad, Daniel Kelly coming on. Um, Big G had... G Force. Big G had from. <laughs> I'm looking forward uh, you, to that. You got, you got some, of, some of your mates coming on. Yeah, I mean, from, we want to get Michelle Reeves on to talk about nutrition and give everyone a big foot in the ass about you know what about their yeah. diet. Um, Michelle, then, Michelle's amazing. That'd be a good is, episode. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, well, I'm started training now. Finally got a, a kind of a schedule going, so I want to get her to sort of tell me, tell me what I should be eating at the moment. So, um, but yeah, then, that's. That, that, that's the thing with like a good nutritionist. They can do everything you need them to do online, over the phone. Just just because you can't go need, see you them need doesn't mean... For you. No. You're not, so, you're, not like, Bruce, you're not Bruce yeah. Wayne. You don't have a bloody butler who's going to be cooking all your food for you, you know? Unless you've lost your job and you can't afford it, you've got no excuse not to contact good nutritionist and, and, and all that, so... You don't need to. You go to the shops, you can tell what's good and what's bad. Go to the meat yeah. and veg sec- section and stay out of the aisles, pretty much. 
Simple as that. All the refined sugars in, in the aisles, on the, and then you, you stay on the outside. You got all your dairy, your fruit, your veg, your meat. Um, that's all you need, pretty much. So, but yeah. All right. So we call that time there. Um, I reckon we're gonna we'll do it. We'll do another video that we're gonna post up. We'll do some uh, put up on Instagram if you don't have any questions for us to ask. So we'll probably do a yeah. We're gonna video. We're... We'll do a separate video and we'll go over some questions a bit later. Um, but yeah. But thanks everyone for listening to our little little lockdown episode. You know, stay resilient. We'll uh, we'll be back in the studio soon. We'll start punching out these episodes.